So welcome back to the Sustainable Packaging Show podcast. I'm here with Luke today. Luke, what's going on? How are you doing today? Good. How about yourself? I'm doing fantastic. Always happy to be on the set with you here today. So we're going to talk about a topic that I think is something that maybe a lot of people are thinking um, and go into depth on the question, what is the most sustainable packaging? So anyone who has the desire to be more sustainable, whether it's for environmental reasons or marketing reasons or a combination of both, they have a product and they're thinking about how do I make that packaging sustainable for that product? So naturally, you're going to think to yourself, what is the most sustainable packaging that I can choose in this given scenario? So I've got a few little show notes here as we as we dig through this, but ultimately what I want to get to is whether or not that's actually the right question to be asking. And, and Luke, can we determine or can we say what is the most sustain- is there a most sustainable package right now, or are we are we more trying to figure out what that really means? You know, I think it's really like a moving target currently. It's always shifting. There's new regulations coming out that you know tell you what a sustainable package is, but what does that really mean to the end consumer and to the person that's making those packaging decisions? But how about even regulation aside? Part of it is, like we talked about checking the box in the other episode, how if a regulator tells you you need to do something to be sustainable, well, that's very clear. But I'm talking more in places where there's not a regulation. It's more about someone who genuinely wants to make their packaging more sustainable. They care about sustainability. They see the opportunity around it. And and they're thinking to themselves, okay, we got to move urgently. I want it to be sustainable. I don't want it to be greenwashing, but what is the most sustainable? And and I've been digging into this more and more and saying my opinion is we're really in a fact-finding mission right now. And it's less about, you know, I know as Contempo Specialty Packaging, I know the most sustainable packaging and here it is. And it's more about, you know, looking at different options, thinking about different options from different angles and sort of collectively gathering knowledge about sustainability and, okay, this one is better in these ways versus this one's better in these ways and trying to, you know, pick an option now, progress, not perfection, but also more importantly, deepen your knowledge of what sustainability is so that one day we can come up with options that are, you know, really meeting the needs of the planet. Am I making sense to you? No, definitely. And I think a prime example of something like that would be you know, maybe a manufacturer is putting their product in, you know, just a virgin plastic jar and they wanted to make some sort of sustainable improvement off of that. You know, initially some people were going to say, you know, move away from plastic, move away from plastic. But what if, you know, that person really requires plastic for a barrier property or something to preserve their product? Shelf life. Yeah, shelf life. Exactly. You know, sustainability to them could mean putting recycled content into that plastic, finding maybe an alternative plastic or, you know, just honestly keeping that same plastic. If that's truly what, you know, they need, it could be fully recyclable. They could have done studies with, you know, the local MRFs to see if that package is recyclable before going into that. So there's a lot of different, you know, angles that you can look at before really determining, like, this is the most sustainable package to me. Right. Even when we when we launched our 100 percent hemp packaging, which... I still believe is a revolution um, that is waiting to happen and that it will happen at some point. But people are like, okay, I want to, I love 100% hemp. I want to package my gummies in there. And then we're like, well, it's maybe not a good idea due to freshness reasons. And that's something that you come back to often this sort of push and pull between freshness, shelf life, making sure that the product arrives uh, in a, a, a good condition and sustainability. And it's um, it's sort of something that we need to tackle and think about because maybe the most sustainable option in your mind is actually not an option for the product that you're packaging. Have you have you seen examples of that? Did you say like, do you think the gummies is the best example or maybe a, a chocolate bar? No, like a chocolate bar is another good example because, you know, a chocolate bar can melt super easy and maybe a metal tin. And a lot of people see metal as the most, like one of the most sustainable materials due to its recyclability, due to its reusability. But, 
you know, if the end product can't survive the packaging, then how sustainable really is that for the business? There's different definitions of, you know, sustainability as a word itself as well. Right. Or you, you have great sustainable packaging, but the product rots and you go out of business. Well, did you really put a lot of units into the marketplace or did you just sort of have a little cool looking prototype and then... So that's obviously not an option as well. So as I was thinking about this a little more, this is the first time I'm revealing these thoughts to you here. I was saying, what is the most sustainable package? Well, maybe a better question right now is how can I be thoughtful, which is one of the words we often use, how can I be thoughtful about my sustainable packaging? And from being thoughtful and uh, sharing what you're doing with your consumers, I, I would I would imagine that we can advance the conversation around what's most sustainable and you have an opinion and Ed has an opinion and another person has an opinion and we're still really trying to figure this out. So by sharing opinions, we can improve the collective knowledge and I'll take a little bit from what you said and a little bit from what Ed said and that can help me shape my mind so long as my motive is what's actually good for the planet. So what do you think about that question as being more of the golden question rather than what's the most sustainable packaging saying, how can I be thoughtful about my packaging as it, as it relates to sustainability? Yeah, I mean, it all comes down to, you know, just overall thinking about what your consumer base is thinking and also about the feasibility. I think that's really important to focus on. Like, will this material be scan or, uh, scalable? Will this material work with my products? Will my consumers understand what change we're making moving down the lines? to improve our overall, you know, sustainable mission or goal that the company is trying to reach. That's why I always say put the QR code on the package and have that link out to a page or a video, whether that's on your Instagram or your other social media or directly to your website to storytell around the impact that you're making. At such, such and such brand, not only do we care about the highest quality, putting out the highest quality products, but environmental sustainability in our footprint is also very important. That is why we've chosen such and such packaging for this product. And, and getting into that type of storytelling, I think, is really powerful. So how to be thoughtful and what is the most thoughtful? So what does sustainability mean to you? So sort of like steps of how to be thoughtful in my mind. So Tell me what you think of this. What does sustainability mean to you? One can really think about which path around sustainability they're most passionate about. And then the second question, which I think talks to your feasibility, is give me an example of packaging that you think is sustainable. So taking your theory of what's sustainable and can you give me an example of packaging that would meet that definition or are you the type of person that said sustainable is hemp because it's carbon neutral and actually sequesters carbon and you don't have to cut down trees but you want it for your gummies and that's not really an adequate solution so i feel like those two things together what is what does sustainability mean to you okay you have your definition your opinion we should listen to each other's opinions not shoot them down and try to learn from each other so that's number one to create this collective knowledge base as we're in this fa fact-finding mission about what the most sustainable packaging is maybe eventually we'll be able to answer that question and then the second thing is, once you have that definition, show me some examples that meet that definition that will work for this product. What do you think about that as a one-two sort of questions we can ask? No, I mean, I definitely think it's uh, like a solid two questions to ask, especially, you know, about being thoughtful around your packaging. You know, um, you have to really take in all the different aspects, one connecting with you know, what you're overall trying to achieve. Is your company trying to become carbon neutral by a certain date? If so, then, you know, look into those materials that are less impactful on the planet, like using a recycled material or an aluminum that can be, you know, reused over and over again so you don't have to remanufacture new new tins. Mm -hmm. um, but if your goal is to meet initial state regulations, then just shoot for that 25%, that and at least you have that goal in mind that you're trying to achieve rather than just saying, give me a sustainable package, and you really don't know what that means to yourself. Right, right, and, and I, think that's, I think the best ideas will ultimately win with consumers, and if we, you know, we, we, we're thoughtful, we take, you know, we're sort of really think about this, what's actually good for the planet, we're thoughtful about it, and then from there, we actually put forth some sort of innovation that we think will be beneficial and we explain why it's beneficial. We don't just say like, this is sustainable because I tinted it green. No, we get into a little bit deeper about 
how our thoughts on sustainability translated into this package. And maybe we even talk about certain options were not an option because shelf life is very important. And then from there, I think the market will give feedback. And if we sort of follow this feedback loop, we can continually improve and you get feedback and maybe it's not warranted. You know, you get some feedback that will definitely not be warranted, but other things you have to know what to listen to. Okay, that's actually a good one. That actually could improve our packaging overall. So what do you think about this idea of a feedback loop that if you explain your position, you get feedback from your consumers, and then from there, you can sort of make further iterations? Do you like that, or do you think we should be more principled and, and frankly, less, less concerned about what average Joe has to say about our package and more, this is what we believe, and that's why we're going with it? Yeah, no, and I think it's super valuable to get customer feedback or just general data on what the public is really looking for in packaging. Um, I think, you know, the example of bringing in examples of packaging that you think are sustainable is, is great for that because a lot of consumers are, you know, now demanding certain goals for customer certain goals for companies to, to reach with their packaging. Like if you're selling t-shirts that are made of recycled materials, using a non-recycled package will kind of take away from that story of the product. Mm -hmm. um, so I, I just think, you know, tying that all together is extremely powerful for a brand to listen to what their consumers are thinking, but also, you know, getting feedback from experts. I heard it said in a, in a Canadian cannabis dispensary uh, that consumers had come in, this, I heard this owner speaking, consumers had come in and said, we're not buying products if they're not sustainably packaged. And this was not just like one person. She said, this is a stance or an opinion of what's being said. And that's difficult in Canada because sometimes the regulations force over packaging. But I'm thinking the consumer comes in, they want sustainable packaging. Okay, wh what do you mean sustainable packaging? What do you actually want? And that because it's not so objective, I think it creates an opportunity where you, where you pick the packaging that's most sustainable, you explain why it's sustainable, and then sort of let the market decide. And maybe some people like one thing and they don't like others. And I think as long as we have it in our hearts to actually do what's good for the planet, we can learn from each other. And, and imagine if that happened, if all brands that were going to, into sustainable explained why. They truly wanted to make an improvement to the planet and they explained and messaged why they believe it's sustainable. And then you'd be walking through your everyday life, seeing different products and learning different approaches and saying, okay, that one looks like BS, but I really like this one. And oh, what if we did something like that? And then sort of the best ideas and the cream would rise to the top rather than check locally before recycling and just you know <laughs> throwing some sort of, okay, I checked the box, right? Imagine that world as compared to the world that sometimes we're moving in. So, um, any thoughts on that before we uh, wrap up this episode? No, I mean, and just going back to, I guess, being thoughtful about your packaging and, and what does sustainability mean to you truly? Like, if you're a brand that, you know, may hate ocean pollution and ocean plastic and that huge issue, then maybe utilizing, you know, something like ocean-bound plastic is something that's directly tied to your mission and your consumers will also notice that as well. Uh, so it's all about, you know, listening to the experts, taking opinions from your consumers, and then making an educated decision on what your final product will be. Absolutely. So in conclusion to this wonderful episode of the Sustainable Packaging Show, we need immediate action. I think we all understand we need immediate action. But, but at the same time, I think we don't really know what the most sustainable packaging is. So, and we're okay to admit that. I think a lot of people say, oh, mine's the most sustainable. I make glass. And then the plastic people say, the glass people are bad for these reasons. We're the best. And, and it's sort of like this, uh, this contest where people are sharing their opinions. We take the approach. We don't really know. We're figuring it out. We're putting forth, I think, as many sustainable packages as any other company on the planet. We'll put that in there as well. But we don't have a definitive, this is the most sustainable. Because as you said, a lot of the times, like the hemp package is not acceptable for gummies. So you, you got to consider the product that you're packaging as well. So we have ideas on it, but we don't totally know. And let's have the thoughtful conversations around what the most sustainable is. So your call to action, ladies and gentlemen, today, we really want to hear from you. What does sustainability mean to you? I want to understand the different perspectives that are out there. So drop that in the comments. Or if you want to reach out to us directly, email 
wow, W-O-W at ContempoPackaging.com. What is the most sustainable packaging? Excuse me, I just said that's not the question. What does sustainability mean to you? And let's gather these different perspectives. Let's listen to each other's perspectives rather than attacking each other's perspectives. Listen. I wonder if there's something that you can learn from different people. So drop it in the comments below or email us, wowcontemplapackaging.com. We would love to hear from you. Luke, any closing remarks? Let's just try to make this planet a little bit better. <laughs> Clean up the planet. Clean up the waste. We're Contempo Specialty Packaging. Thanks for watching the Sustainable Packaging Show podcast or listening to it. We appreciate you guys. Thanks so much.